Hi, I'm Celeste Perry. It's Coffee Companions here at the Wag Hotel. We're about to meet our next dog, but first let me tell you that if you board your dog here at the fabulous Wag Hotel, you'll get 50% off all day play. And there are like all kinds of groovy places to play here. There's this giant room, there's the roof upstairs, there's a pool even. It's like a spa for your dog. So remember that. But right now, let's meet James. James, sounds like a butler. Oh, look at James. Hi, Anita. Hi, Celeste. You're back. I have a very handsome young man here for you to meet. Hi, sweetie. This is Hi. James. And James is all of two months and two weeks old. Oh, he's so cute. He's adorable, here, isn't he? Sit down. He's like a little, he looks a little like a pig. <laughs> is that a weird thing to say? <laughs> I think pigs, pigs are very are cute. It's lovely, it's good I, animal, yeah. so it's Hi. fine. May I hold uh, James? Yes. Uh, so tell me, he's very young and he hasn't had his shots yet. No, until um, pups are about five or six months old, they yeah. haven't had all their shots. So we uh, suggest that people keep them indoors and not let them put their feet down on the ground where they, they might the, be the able out. to pick something. Yes, or there are other things that young pups can get to that we want to keep them away from. And he's got the silly baby teeth. Oh, you're yes. so cute. Isn't he cute. I love you. He's oh. a he's a very energetic little man and yeah. he's very friendly. How big will he um, grow to be? He probably would get to be anywhere from 50 to 80 pounds. Really? So he could be a big boy when he's finished growing. <laughs> And, and, a big, and a big strong boy, as you can tell, even at two yeah. months. And so now tell me about this breed. Are they good with children? What do they like to do? Even a puppy can be kind of overwhelming to young children. Surely. So probably yeah. with young children, it would be fine with some supervision. And um, he will definitely need to have some training to oh, learn sure. his manners and learn the rules of the house. Well, now he's biting on me. I just want people to know that that's a typical puppy yes. behavior. Yes, that's, that's, that's not like, you know, particular to James here. This no, is no, what, no, This no. is what puppies, puppies do. Puppies and kittens. And then they settle down. That's how they. That's how they learn about the world. I love how he feels. Yeah. You know. Yeah. He is. Like, oh, you're he just is so a little muffin. You're it? like a little baby. <laughs> so if you've already had your children and you're looking for another baby, I'm telling you, James is really sweet. And Anita. if you already have a dog, James would probably be fine with another dog too. Okay. Yeah. He's he's very social. Obviously. Yes. He's he likes nice... other dogs and, and he's happy to play with them. And again, he's what two months old. Two months and two weeks. You're a baby. Yes, You're a is. little baby. <laughs> You're a cute one. Okay, so I'm going to give the phone number here. Let's let's do this, uh, James. 510-569-0702. Uh, That's the East Bay SPCA. And it's <laughs> James was looking for a home. Oh, he's so cute. Yes. So here at Coffee Companions, obviously, we're all about adoptions. And Brendan Moran is backstage right now on a very short leash, and he's got a very interesting story about someone who actually works here at the WAG Hotel and her tale of adoption. Brendan. Hey, thanks, Celeste. I'm here with Anna Jaffrey and Kona. Anna works here, and Kona is her new dog. Is that right? Correct. Now, Correct. you hey, stay. adopted Kona. Yeah. Why? Uh, well, it kind of happened by accident. So to speak. Tell me the story. I was already looking to, I was kind of looking to get a dog, but it wasn't really the right time. I didn't really want to go actively looking for a dog. So she was staying with us and she actually had an injury that she came in with already. Uh -huh. It progressed while she was here. Her owners uh, didn't, uh, they wanted to put her down because they didn't want to deal with it. So I just decided to take her home with me. So how come you did this? But, I mean, I'm not going to just let him put a dog down without any good reason. Uh, it was something fairly simple to fix. It was a short fix. It was an easy fix. It wasn't incredibly expensive. Um, and she's an amazing dog. I mean, she's she's the whole package. I really lucked out. I was not sure what I was going to get because she was fairly sedated when I got her, uh -huh. into my hands at least. Um, but, I mean, she's still pretty lazy, so. <laughs> Did you know her from around here? No, I didn't know her at all. So you kind of just said, I have to adopt this dog, otherwise I, somebody's going to Well, it. I mean, I had to take her or something. I, I figured that if it ended up I couldn't keep her or it ended up just being too much for me to handle, um, I could always, you know, foster her out. How are you guys getting along? Just peachy. Yeah? She's, she's great, yeah. I mean, we're kind of two peas in a pod. She's stubborn and adorable. <laughs> Thanks, Brendan. What a great story. Imagine you could be starring in your own adoption story tonight if you pick up, adopt one of our adorable doggies, and we'll be meeting another in just a moment. But first, I want to remind you that, because I'm like the human calendar, um, Memorial Day is coming up, and you need a place 
to board your dog or your cat. And you can do it right here at the WAG Hotel, obviously. And they have a great deal going on right now. If you board your doggy over Memorial Day weekend, you will get 50% off all day play. Perfect. All right, we're going to take a little break, and we'll be back to meet Max right here on Coffee Companions.